The Devil's Kitchen event originated about three years ago where we felt there was a lot of um, competitions available uh, within the hospitality department between different colleges um, and of course not all students can compete at that level. So what we did was designed an event where each student could compete um, in a pressurised environment and still be part of the team uh, so that they could all get the feel for that competitive uh, energy in the kitchen. One thing they do get is they, they, they understand the importance of being totally, totally organised for a dinner service. Yes, this is a charity dinner, but at the same time these customers are coming in, they're paying £32.50 a head, um, so they're expecting good food, good service. So, you know, we have to be totally on the ball from a kitchen point of view, totally organised, ready to serve the food, serve the customers. At the same time, the restaurant teams have to be totally clued up. Based on the Hell's Kitchen events, um, the Gordon Ramsay series, um, students were asked to volunteer themselves to either work um, in the kitchen or in the, the front of house uh, area for the evening. Uh, we would draw their names from the hat and uh, select students for either the red kitchen or the blue kitchen, the red restaurant or the blue restaurants. Uh, and the students then, um, the ones that wanted to take part, were selected and they volunteered to work tonight uh, to raise money for charity as well. Um, and they're going to have to be on their toes to pull this off tonight. Um, there may be tears, you never know, but uh, it's, it's just part of the game, you know. We, they all have to understand this is hospitality, this is the pressures it's involved in, and we, you just have to step up to the plate and, and, and do your best job. Uh, the dinner kicks off at half past six, and we have staggered bookings until 8pm tonight. The winning team will be announced at the very, very end. Uh, we always aim for about 100 guests, and uh, again this year we have, we've hit that target. The students can develop their soft skills, uh, which includes employability and citizenship, and these skills are um, very transferable uh, into the industry when, when they go to work in industry as well. Thank you for coming there. I have a restaurant. Like, don't get me chilly. Like, give me a little bit of a Nice and neat. Nice and neat. Take your time, right? Good evening, everybody. I'd just like to introduce you to the red team. Desserts. We've got Stacey and Davy Boy at the back. I really hope the students are able to see what industry is really like. Um, within their practical workshops here, they have a comfort blanket and they, they don't have to, um, they are always protected and they really are in a protected environment. Tonight they're not uh, and there is a standard expected from them. So they will probably get a very realistic working environment um, tonight. Uh, with respect to a full operation, working with 100, 110 guests tonight. Okay, I'm waiting on Fronto Fronto, two quail salad, yes? One soup, one terrine. Come on, Amanda, you get the salad done, bang, 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 love, we're doing well. Bottom up front, two guinea fowl, two cabbage, two mashed potatoes, two sauce for the guinea fowl. You know, we're maybe not, you know, it's not every week we bring lobsters into the into the training restaurant or the training kitchen. Um, so, you know, they've been working with lobsters. They've been they've been doing different types of desserts and they're doing different cookery processes and bring these dishes together. It's slightly different to maybe than what we would normally do. So, from a kitchen point of view, they're gaining a lot more experience that way. And again, to compete and do 50 covers like bang bang bang, it's totally different to what we normally do. Even from coming out the car to the actual entrance, and it was quite overwhelming. <laughs> Oh, that's a big experience because not every day you can serve so many people. But what's giving me this night is just because it's fun, but it's as well opportunity to learn how it's actually operating the really restaurant. The way the team have got together, and everybody gelled, and the recipes that you've learned before actually come to practice and it's put out into dishes. So, all in all, very good evening. Yes.
and the result is unbelievably close. Red scored 42.1. Blue scored 42.5. The winner is Blue Team. Well, I think the students now know that they have to be totally organised from a service point of view, regardless if it's front of house or kitchen side, you know. I think we had a fabulous evening. Uh, I think all the students have really enjoyed participating uh, in such uh, a team effort. Uh, I think they understand as well now the, the competitive environment and they know that someone's going to win at the end of the night now. As far as I'm concerned, everybody's a winner here tonight. But I think, I mean, you can hear the noise in the background, I'm sure. It's just lovely to see their wee faces light up and know that they've achieved something or they feel that they've really worked under pressure and they've had a different experience than what they would have in class. The, the guys handled it very, very well. The, the, I mean, the whole event has just been amazing tonight. We have made, or sorry, we've raised more money than we've ever done. Well, I mean, they've all, they'll all have learnt something at some point tonight. Well done. Excellent, guys.